Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to share a folder in a domain environment and access that folder from another computer in the domain. First, I will create a user and then share a folder and give permission to that new user. Then I will log into a client computer by using that new user and verify that I can access the folder over the network. I'm logged into the server manager. To create a new user, I go to the tools menu and select Active Directory Users and Computers. Then I expand the domain on the left side of the screen and select Users. On the right side pan, I right click and select New User. I type in the user information. and type in the logon name. I click on next and give a password. I confirm the same password and for convenience I will unselect the user must change password at next logon and also password never expires so I go next and then finish as I can see the user has been created next I will share a folder on this machine the open file explorer go to the C drive create a new folder I will create a subfolder inside the new folder also I will create a simple text file in the new folder and I will put some text inside the text file close and save the file to access this temp folder over the network from another computer I need to have two types of permission one is the NTFS permission because this drive is formatted as NTFS as you can see the file system is NTFS so a user need to have NTFS permission on this folder so first I will give that permission I right click on the folder and select properties and then in the security tab I look at the user's permission and currently user can read execute list folder read file but users cannot modify anything on this folder if i want the users to have this kind of access then i will keep this permission on the security tab this permission is a local permission on this folder so if a user logs in into this computer and tries to open this folder user will be restricted according to this permission however if the user logs into another computer such as a client computer and wants to access this folder then i need to give shared permission on this folder i will do that now so I right click on the folder and then select properties and then on the sharing tab I select advanced sharing and then check the share this folder option 
then I select the permissions button and then I can give permission to that specific user that I created or I can give permission to everyone by default everyone gets a read permission when a shared permission is given I can change it to full control or change also I can give a specific permission to a specific user by going to the add button and then search for the user I know the username is T Williams I can type the username partially and click on check names then the system will bring the closest match so the user has been selected and then I can click on OK now everyone has read permission but I can give a different permission to this specific user so I will select full control for this specific user so this user Todd Williams will get full control on this folder however everyone will get a read permission on this folder over the network now the share permission applies when you access a folder over the network also the NTFS permission applies when you share a folder over the network if you log into a local computer and try to open a folder and access the files then only the NTFS permissions apply all right so I click on apply and OK this user got a different NTFS permission on this folder which is on the security tab if I look at the users then I can see the user doesn't have a full control on this folder so effectively this user will not have full control because when you combine these two permissions sharing permission and security permission then the more restrictive ones apply and the more restrictive one is read and execute list content and so on even though I gave full permission in sharing because of the restrictions on the NTFS permission the restrictive permission applies we'll see the effective permission by logging into another computer and try to access the folder so I close this tab and then close this tab I will need to know the shared folder name and the computer name where that shared folder is located. The computer name is LonDC1 and I will log in to a client machine which is a Windows 10 machine. To log in as a different user I need to click on other users and then type in the domain name backslash and username then password and press enter I logged in as Todd Williams now I will try to access the shared folder which is located on the other machine. I will open file explorer. And then at the top bar and at the top bar I will start typing backslash backslash and then the computer name which is LON DC1 the computer name where the shared folder is located and then backslash the shared folder name I know that the shared folder name is temp so I press enter and I can see the files and folders inside that temp folder uh, I will try to make changes here for example I will go into data and then try to create new file
and save it. We can also open files here and look at the content. If I try to save with the same file name and then it says I don't have the permission. However, I can, I can save it with a different name. Now if I go back to the original folder where this folder is located in the other computer, I open that shared folder and I can see both the files are there and the new file is also there. So what I could do is to create new files and read the file content but I could not modify and then save. Now I'm back to the client machine. So I'm accessing this folder over the network. So if I try to delete this file over the network and then it doesn't let me delete it. And these restrictions are coming from the NTFS permission that is effective on the folder on the computer where the actual folder is located. Also, I should be able to create subfolders from the client machine on the shared folder. Let's check that. As you can see, a subfolder was created. I can remove my files that I created over the network. So I can delete this one. However, I cannot delete the file that was already there. And this restriction is coming from the lack of NTFS permission. Even though I have full control for the share permission on this folder, I don't have full control in terms of NTFS permission. All right, I hope you found this video was helpful. If you'd like to receive notifications on future videos, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel and set up notifications by tapping on the bell. Thank you for watching.